Here's a shout out to a few of the people who support this channel on Patreon. Heather, Jessica, Rowan, Melissa, Sheila, Janelle, Deborah, Sherry, Barbara, Betty, Carissa, Cheryl, Amy, Charlotte, Pam, Sue, Sonia, Lisa, Deborah, Charlie, Gypsy, Sarah, Larry, AD, Mel, Kara, Judy, Brenda, Krista, Naomi, Sherry, Denise, Kathy, Elaine, Deb, Tammy, Linda, Teresa, Sandra, and Nelda. A huge thank you to my co-sponsors. You guys are awesome. Good morning. Uh, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I, this channel is to inspire you to craft and do more. Just to be a better person, to have fun, enjoy life, and all of that. So welcome and hopefully today you're going to learn design space. This video will be great for beginners and I just want to share the best way to learn anything is not just to watch the video. The fun part is to watch the video, get involved in the chat, ask questions, put your questions in all caps and I can see them better so I can answer them. Uh, today is going to be great for a beginner, but then also tips and tricks for those that of you that are not beginners. You may learn something new. Most of you learn something new during everyone. We have a giveaway every single Saturday that we're doing Design Space class. You do have to be live and you do have to be able to chat in the chat on YouTube. So if you're not on YouTube, you may be in my Facebook group, Cricut Joy Machines and Projects with Melody Lane. You may be on Twitch. Jump on over to YouTube if you are watching live and um, you may enter to win. I also have the winner of another giveaway that we do every week and you can hop on over to my blog at MelodyLaneInspired.com to enter another giveaway where I'm giving three big prizes away. We do this every Saturday morning at 11 a.m. Eastern. I say that with a smile because we're only doing it the first week of September because I don't know what's happening the rest of September. I am going to be away. I'm hoping to be able to do videos from my hotel room. I don't know if I can or not. I don't know if it has good enough internet. So if not, maybe I'll just come on and do a video on my phone. Maybe I'll answer questions that I can just answer or just chat with you guys so you don't miss your Saturday mornings. Um, so let's get started. First, oh, and I don't remember if I told you this, the best way to learn is not to just watch the video, it's to actually do it. So while we're live, I suggest you watch the video, pay attention. If you don't understand anything I'm saying, that's okay, rewatch it again, open up your design space, do what I do. You can pause the video, then do it, then watch the video again. And that is the best way to learn anything in design space is to actually do it along with the video. Remember, you can pause, you can rewind, you can go fast forward. We will have timestamps in the description of this video. So if there's something special that you want to learn without watching this long, hour long video, you can go into the description and click on that. That won't be there probably today, maybe tomorrow. Um, so let's get started. And for those of you on Facebook, it doesn't tell us your names because we're not actually looking on Facebook. You are in the YouTube chat, but without a name. So if you type your name first, it would help be helpful. Um, okay, let's get started. I forgot what we were doing. Oh, do you guys want to see who won last week and how to enter my giveaways that I'm going to be doing every week? And you have to contact me if you see your name. I'm not going to email the winner of this giveaway uh, or this weekly giveaway. So I'm doing a weekly giveaway and you can enter as many times as you want with different videos. So here is the winner of last week. This is this giveaway is called hashtag what I learned melody. So what you have to do is you have to go to my YouTube channel and um, 
share a video, type in hashtag what I learned melody just like this, and then tell us what you learned from that video. And here's the video. Um, let me open this. YouTube.com slash Melody Lane. I don't know why this is stuck on top. So here's my channel. You can go to any video you have previously watched or any video that you might want to watch or learn from. And you can click on that video. You can let's um this i don't have my browser very wide so that's why it looks like that so you can click share you can copy this or share it right to facebook or twitter and um type in hashtag what i learned and type in uh what you did learn Shirley Bain, yes, you won. I'm so happy you're here. So Shirley Bain, you can contact me. Go to MelodyLaneInspired.com and you can go down to the contact me here, or click contact. And um, you won $25. You can have it through PayPal or through Amazon. So just message me and tell me if you want it through PayPal, I need your email for that. If you want it through Amazon, I need your email for that. Okay, let's get started on Cricut Design Space. Here is Cricut Design Space. Let me move this over. Oh, it's not high enough. There we go. Make sure you can see the buttons at the bottom. Okay, so this is the canvas. You know because it says canvas. This canvas can be very big. I'm sliding over to the right. It can be 191 inches. At least that's what mine says. I don't know if other people say anything different. It can also be 191 inches down. So I am just, you can just scoot these over. Scoot this to the top, and we're back to one. Okay, and then can we hit? We can't hit make it. We have nothing on the mat. So what we're going to do is we're going to start out with shapes, and then we're going to get into text. You are going, oh, new images. Thank you for for telling me. I forgot. Um, we're going to do shapes. We're going to do text. I'm going to show you how to do it on the Explorer Makers. Those are the same. And on the Joy Machine, how to get the most out of your mat um, and all that. So thank you for reminding me to do the new images. I do like to show you what new image sets are here. We still get the question in my Facebook groups for Cricut, where are all my cartridges? Cartridges are gone. They're not gone. You think they would get rid of those? You click on images. If you're on an iPad or phone, you won't see image sets right here. You will see highlighted categories. So you just tap on highlighted categories and then you'll get these options. So image sets are now called cartridges, which really makes a lot more sense because they no longer have physical cartridges. They only have digital image sets. How do you change the background again? Okay, let's go there real fast. Uh, you can change the grid right up here at the top between the two zeros. So you can do that. And to change the background color, you click over here where it says blank canvas. Now watch up here where it has that. Click on blank canvas and now it changed. Right underneath color, you can choose color you can choose it here. Oh, that's ugly color. I usually like to change it to yellow if I'm going to change it. And I like that grid better. Okay, going back to images. So the top images are the newest ones. These are not quite really the newest 
because these were in a digital mystery box and they were just released not too long ago so they went ahead and put them on top then we have some close to my hearts those are not as new here is the newest image this is the second newest one so this is christmas phrases these have where it will draw or you can cut out i was looking at these um, this morning they're amazing they're going to be great for cards for t-shirts and for all kinds of things oh my gosh joan i cannot believe you didn't know that <laughs> joan is are amazing there's 15 of them i'm going to open that up and i think they had all of these last week uh these are a lot yeah this one was from two weeks ago if you missed these go ahead and click on these open them up look at these great images um these are amazing this is for a shadow box it's it comes in at eight inches you can cut it just as it is you can pop up each layer look at how pretty these are these are to cut in paper now you don't have to cut in paper let me bring this in really fast so you can do that and then this is the mat okay so it puts it on every color that's as quickly as you can do it you could cut this one in vinyl if you wanted to I mean I guess you could cut it all in vinyl and layer them on top of each other um that might be a little hard I think to get it even but also the paper gives it dimension you can pop it up or you could print these more than once and cut them out like if you have multiple colors of the same color like oh i'm clicking on my software not here uh if you cut this out three times and just glued it on top of each other it makes it really thick and it gives the um project more dimension and it just looks cooler it looks better than using pop dots and pop dots are kind of hard to use you see them sometimes so cutting out the paper multiple times is awesome that would be so pretty uh, I'm gonna hit cancel and you can hide colors you can hide them all except for just do that one and then that would be pretty uh, on a t-shirt or sweatshirt you could add words to the bottom or top of it or add words around it uh, and you could totally cut this out of iron-on or vinyl or anything like that um, you could just do that or that do that and have some through it that would be pretty on a window where you can still see through this area here isn't that pretty How are you selecting two different mats at once? I'm not sure what you mean. Trisha Miller, I see your question and I don't understand it. I don't. This is a canvas and these are layers. Right now they're all together because they're grouped. They come that way. If I ungroup them, I can separate them. But even if I let's say I wanted them all one color I could just drag my mouse and change the color to all one color Trisha I would really yeah I only have one you can't select two mats at once yeah, window cling would be great. Oh, pretty on table liners. You could iron this onto a table liner. I suggest not purple. I just was showing you how to change the color. That would be pretty. Colored vellum would be pretty. You guys are so inspiring. um i think that one layered uh i think this is the only one i saw this this could be for a shadow box i think this one um you would just have to put um 
paper behind it or something to make it a square, but I think you could. But this is the only one like this. They need a whole image of these, don't you? Or image set of these, I think. Oh, pillows! That would be great to put this on pillows. And they also have these Christmas ones, turkey. Oh, the snowflake is pretty. And remember, you can change the colors to whatever you want of these. Okay. Okay, now let's get back. Okay, so we showed the images. We are going to start with a new project. So I just hit new, hit replace. And first we're gonna start with shapes and then we're going to go to, um, you know what, let's start with a star. Let's say we wanted to put little stars, I'm gonna leave it big for now, on a ceiling. And we're going to click duplicate. If you're asking questions, you might get the answers in the chat also. Oh, yeah, serving trays. Okay, so, whoops. All I did was hit duplicate for these. Now, some people I know, especially if you're used to the really old crickets, you think you have to set these up so they don't cut on top of each other. That is completely unnecessary in Cricut Design Space because Cricut Design Space does all that for us. Um, let's just move these. We're just going to stack them up. And let's say we really want a ton of stars. I'm going to select them all and duplicate again. They're just piling on top of each other. And we can still hit make it. But first, I want to size them all smaller. I want them all the same size. The smarter way to do it is to size it first and then duplicate, but I forgot to do that. So we're just gonna do it like this. We're gonna make it smaller. I want them about a half an inch maybe. Now, sizing it here or here is not gonna work. So I'm just kind of looking at the one star. It's a little bigger than a half an inch, that's okay. If I want it a little smaller, I can drag it smaller and Let's say I want to make it. I don't have to separate all those out. Um, now, let's say I just want to fill this mat with stars. So the best way to do that is, <laughs> Joan is so funny, uh, is to click apply. You make the number higher and click apply. That was a good guess. I don't even know how many stars I had. But um, I could go back and add a few more stars to finish that, but it's fine. Um, and then I could cut this. Now, let's say I had a Cricut Joy machine. I'm going to have to go back and select Joy. Click Make It. And we're going to do without a mat. So we're going to cut these out in vinyl because we're going to make them um, put, fill the ceiling with stars or something. And I want a lot of stars. Make 11 of them. That's not 11 stars. That's 11. Okay. Got it. Um, so now you can just put your vinyl in. 51 inches? Does it cut 51 inches? It cuts 20 feet. Alexa, what's, how many inches are in 20 feet? 20 feet is 240 inches. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was thinking, I was thinking 48 inches, but that's only four feet. So yeah, we could even apply more. We can go up to 240 inches. Okay, does anyone have any questions on that? Yay, you guys are learning already. A few of you. Um, yes, 
Yeah, Robert asked, how do you get so many so fast? You duplicate this row. I can duplicate. And see how it, it, it moved them. It just moves them down this row. So you have more than you think you do. I can duplicate again. And then I can select them all. Well, let me select them all. And I can duplicate them again. I don't even how, know how many I have. There's a lot of them. It hasn't even duplicated because it's gonna work much slower when you have so many. So that is why I don't put so many on the canvas. And then when you hit make it, then you can do them. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, okay, so let's go with triangles because with triangles, you can fit so many more Now my design space wants to be slow. It's got to get over all those stars. There were hundreds of stars. Oh, and they're still there. It was still trying to duplicate. We're going to delete the stars. Oh, wait, let me show you something else. See how the stars in, are in all these different layers? And say I want to change the color of them. I do not have to click a star and then do this. This is how you change the color of one layer you click that and do that okay who wants to do that for all the stars let me say first the smarter way is to change the color of the first star and then duplicate but if you're like me you forget to do that so what you can do is you can select them all and then change the color that to change the color a question mark and the colors will come up you can click advanced. It's running so slow because there's so many images. And we're gonna get rid of these stars so it doesn't run so slow. So people are asking how I duplicated so fast. When you select more than one image, it will duplicate them. Okay, so I'm going to delete the stars. Thank you for subscribing. Okay, now people were asking about duplicating so fast. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate these. See how that goes? But if I really wanted a lot, I could... I got four of each color. I could duplicate again. Now I have eight of each color. You can't tell it, but when I move these over, there's more. If I wanted even more, I could select all of those and duplicate again. So that's how you duplicate so fast. You don't need to separate them. You can keep them all on top of each other. But I want these all one color. Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay, now we're going to click make it. We have the join machine selected. Let's see what happens. We're going to cut these in vinyl. So I'm going to say without a mat. And I'm going to try to make these fit better. So I'm going to turn these and move that up. I'm going to turn this one. With the triangles, you only have to move them just to one side. I always flip them completely upside down, which is absolutely not necessary. And then move that over. And then see how we can fit more on a page to save our vinyl. See how much room we're starting to save? See, you only need to move it just a little. See, and then the further you go, the more room you're going to save and you're going to save your vinyl. Okay, now we're going to cancel and we're going to show you with the uh, Maker or Joy. Let's just hit Explore Family. 
it's done it completely the same way on Maker or Explorer. And Jerry says, couldn't you just do one and then set the quantity you want to make? Yes, you can do that. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select, turn this and move that up there. Move these a little lower. We're gonna move that upside down, fit that there. these up turn this one okay now we can take them from this one you can select the three dots that are in the circle on the left corner click that and then click move object and we're gonna move it to this one and it always puts it right where it was on that mat to start with so don't lose it Got to turn it and then go back, move object, and then I'm going to show you a better way to do this. So this is down here. I'm going to move it this way. So does everybody understand this part? how to move it from one mat to another. So we're clicking on this mat down here. We're clicking the three dots. You have to click the image, click the three dots, click move object, select the mat you want to cut it on. And just move it so they're not touching. No, you cannot select more than one object on the Cricut mat. Uh, Grandma's Gone Crafty, I have a complete um, video on Snap Mat. So if you want to learn Snap Mat, search on my channel for Snap Mat. Or search YouTube Melody Lane Snap Mat. Okay, so then well, only one more will fit. We'll just go ahead and move it. Oh, you know what? Two more will fit. Man, we have one extra triangle. Will it fit? It will fit, because I will make it fit. There it goes. Um, so instead of two full mats, we only have one. We, we're saving, it would have used two full pieces of 12 by 12. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad you guys are learning. Okay, so I'm gonna cancel this. What was I gonna do? I was gonna show you guys something. Oh. Uh, Jerry says, well, why don't you, let's just delete all these. You could just make one and click make it. And then you could just apply however many you want. That is a possibility to do. Another possibility, let's do this, is to set it up this way I'm gonna group these and then duplicate let's just make a row I don't know how many will fit across I think this is too big let's see yeah that's 13 I'm gonna ungroup this one it's 11.6 okay we're gonna make it fit there. <laughs> okay. So now I'm going to group this and duplicate it. Let's click make it. Now that did not do what I wanted it to do. What I wanted it to do was do the same thing, but it won't because I used group. Group is only to use on the canvas. Remember, canvas is for group. Or group is for canvas group does not follow you to the mat okay instead we have to use attach so what I'm gonna do is 
select these four. We do not want to do this and attach. Here, I'm going to attach these. Okay. And I'm going to attach these. Now we're going to go to the mat. For some reason, oh, it made it. So, okay. Yeah, because this is longer than 11. This is going to cut out. These triangles are going to be cut into pieces, tons of pieces, because they're all um, attached to each other exactly where they were. Now, the grouped ones are great. They're going to cut out great. Or not grouped. These are attached just in this part, not with these. So we're going to detach these. Um, so now these are still grouped and they're, they're not going to cut as I want. Only the attached ones will cut out as we want. The rest are grouped, so they're not going to stay that way. The easiest way to do this is to select all these, delete them, whoops, delete them, and we'll duplicate these. And because each line is attached, welcome mom of 12. You now have all my projects. Um, now we're going to click make it. And if you guys hear snoring, that is my dog, Kobe. Okay. So um, we could, if we want more, we could click to and click apply. And we have more mats. So you might want to save them this way if it's something you're going to be cutting out more than once, if that makes sense. This fast in DS rather than just in the make it area. Okay, I think this is how, like, if you want them in order like this, this is the faster way to do it. Is attach better than weld? Attach is completely different than weld. Attach is better than weld when your images are not touching. See how none of these are touching? Let me grab one of these. Okay, I'm gonna detach this because you do not need to attach to weld. You don't need to group to weld. You don't need nothing to weld. Okay, so let's go ahead oh yeah these are grouped i'm going to ungroup that let's move these on top of each other um and i'm going to click weld so i'm going to weld these two these are the two that i'm welding watch the layers panel as i weld it made them one image Welding turns two images or more images into one Im image. I got the hiccups. So that's what weld does. Weld is great for letters. Uh, you cannot unweld. There's no unweld button. Once you have it, it's one image. You cannot, it doesn't know where to break apart. The only option you have is to undo. But once you save your project, you cannot undo. So there I did it by undoing it three times because every time you make a move, it counts it as a movement. No, this has nothing to do with Mac or Apple. This is design space. Can you show how to do multiple colors on a single mat? Like four or five by five pieces. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's delete these. Those were grouped together, so that's why those did that. Okay, so let's say I want to make it. But I want these to be all on the same mat. Uh, let's say I have smaller pieces of scrap paper. So all I have to do is click the image, move it just like I did before, and then click it all on the same mat. Now it's gonna change the color of it. 
Um, but I'm going to put it in a different corner and I'm going to put my red piece here and I'm going to put my pink piece here. So I'm going to do that with the blue one. I'm going to move it to the red mat. Now, the downfall to this is you just have to remember. Now I'm going to put my blue piece here. And we're going to do the same thing. Whoops, I hid that one. <laughs> you can hide selected. I accidentally did that. And then do the dark blue one there. I could do one in the middle. And you just have to look at the mat to see where to put the paper. Uh, Mary Jean says, for me to mention, duplicate before weld. Yes, that is a great tip. Where are all my pieces? They're down here. So if you're going to weld these two pieces and you might want to save them uh, before you weld in case you need to change them, you can select them. I like to group them together so then I can duplicate. Now, I only duplicated, so if I want to unweld later, I have them already unwelded. So in my layers panel, because I grouped them first, I can click the eye on group, or I have to click every image in that group. So it's much easier to group them so you can hide the eye. And now I can weld these, and let's say, oh man, I already saved my project, I came back to it a week later, I don't like it welded like that, it's off a little bit, I wanna fix it, I cannot unweld, but I can go back here and start again, and maybe I want to, I'm gonna ungroup them, maybe I want to move it more like that and weld. You know, then I'm gonna duplicate it first. I'm gonna group it so I can hide the group, and then click both of these and weld. Yes, it's best to duplicate just in case you mess up later. Yay, you guys are learning. And it's the people that have been here every week are still learning. Uh, Regina says, could you show us please using vinyl cutting multiple colors? I just did. It's the same with cardstock or vinyl. Okay, now do you want to get to words? Let's just drag all these and hide them. Any videos more on welding and making your own shapes? I have lots of videos on welding and making my own shapes. I do that a lot in my classes. Uh, somebody on Facebook says they have an iPad and they need help with using that on the iPad. So what I suggest is learning the iPad app, but you can learn all the features from this video because all the features work the same. You still have weld and slice and group and attach all in your app. They're just under certain options like actions for duplicating is under actions and group is under actions. And then you have edit for things. Um, okay, somebody's asking about a rounded corner from a square. This is something that everybody needs to pay attention to. We'll do that and then we'll go to words real fast. Oh, and did I mention we have a supporter hangout after this video at 1230? We're gonna all be in a Zoom together. Um, I'm reading chat. Okay, we're gonna go to images. We're gonna go to image sets and we're gonna search basic. The cartridge we want is craft room basics. So if you want rounded corners and you want free images, this is an amazing one for free images. There's three images if you search under basic. Free, free ones, I mean. All of these images here also have an offset, and they're always free. 
Now there are two options. So here's one option for rounded corners, but if you don't want a lot of rounded corners, here's another option or this one. So we're gonna bring these two in. How do you move items in the layers panel? Um, let me duplicate this. Let's say, I'm gonna switch this one and change the color. These all have the shadow layers, but they're hidden. So we can unhide them. Now let's say I want this blue one on top. In the layers panel, I can hold down my mouse button and move this. Now until I'm holding down my mouse button and nothing is happening, you have to move your mouse up and then I can move this to be in the front. The easiest way to do it is to click on it, click a range, and then you can move it to the front or back. But you can move it, now it's way down here in the back, this way. Uh, Zoom is a video conference where we're all in video and talking to each other. Uh, if the screen is blurry, you can change your uh, resolution on YouTube. Hit the gear. Oh, here's what I was going to show you is the rounded corners. So the rounded corners on these squares are not, let me zoom in. They are not the top layer. So when you bring something in from Design Space that is in two layers or more, they're usually grouped together. So we're going to ungroup this. See how this is a pointed, but the offset of this is not. It's rounded. So a lot of times, if I want rounded, I will delete that. And I don't like to use black just because you can't see it as well. So see how that is rounded? And it's just a barely rounded, which is great for cards and stuff. And then you have this one that is really rounded. I think this one's even more rounded than that one. So that's how you get rounded ones. Okay, and I'm just going to hit new. So we have a fresh screen. Why aren't they both pointed? Because that's the way they were made. Okay, um, let's do some text. Have a great day. Um, I've not looked at the text in a long time. There's new uh, ones coming out all the time. We have somebody says that they can't do any of Melody Lane cards on my joy. They have to fit. Oh, this is a writing style one. We need a different one. They have to fit within the joy. And if they're the insert cards, you have to change the bigger card if you're working with the joy. I will show that. Um, I don't use cursive ones very often. Why can't I find them? Try that one. Okay. So this one because we have not ungrouped it, we have not attached it or anything, if we hit make it, it does it just as I want. But let's say, um, 
We're going to change the color for one so you guys can see it when we put it on the mat. Um, let's ungroup it. So now we can move it together. So let's do that. Let's group these back. Okay, now let's hit make it. Is that what we wanted? That is not what we wanted at all. So we're going to hit cancel. Uh, the reason we did that is because we used group. Group only works on the canvas. It does not do anything for the mat. So we could attach this. So it's attached. But it still has... When we go here, but it still has those cut lines. So if you cut this with paper, it's actually going to cut a hole right there where they touch because there's a line underneath that A that you can't see, but it's going to cut that out. So we're going to hit cancel. So the option here is to weld it, but I want it to be all one piece. So I'm going to detach. Oh, and it's grouped. So let's ungroup. And then you can select it and move the keyboards on your key, or you can select it with your mouse and hold down the shift key and it'll keep it straight across. Let me zoom in so you can see. So now, um, if we keep it like this and hit, it's still all messed up. It's not together. It's not even grouped, although if it was grouped, it would still look the same. You have to select it do not attach because attach will keep it looking as it is but it's going to cut out right here there's going to be a hole part of that v is going to cut out of the e and part of that e is going to cut out of the a it's going to cut out here and here what we want to do notice these are four different layers we want them all in the same layer the same little line so we're going to weld them now it put them all in the same line. It welded them together as one image. This is no longer text. We cannot change the font. Uh, we would have to retype it to change font. So now it will cut out the way we want it to cut out, at least these. These we have not welded. So I'm gonna select that and just move it over with my keyboard. That's a little too far. And some people had thought, because people said, oh, you have to weld the letters to get them to cut out together. So they'll take like this and weld it and say, but it didn't move them together. No, it doesn't move them. It only keeps them as you set them. So I'm going to undo that weld and move them together. And now it's one piece. See how that works? Okay. It's really not that hard to do it. You just got to remember to move the letters. If, let me undo this. If you have a hard time keeping them straight, use the carol, the carol, use the keyboard or hold down the shift key to keep it straight. If you have them, oh, none of these words have that. Uh, duplicate. Let's say, we're not making a real word here. It may be in a different language. Let's say you have uh, a word that they're all even on top. See, none of my words are all even. This one's not even on the bottom or the top. You could, if you have them like this, now you could arrange them, align them, and align them all top to make sure they're perfect. If I aligned these all on bottom, it would align them all on bottom. And remember, you can put these words any way you want. Let's say you want these down here like this. Or you wanted it like that. 
You can make any design you want to make. Uh, you can change to write instead of, but um, because these have been manipulated and welded and grouped, they are no longer text. So if we wanted to change them to write, what you do is do that first. And you go up to the top where it says style right here, and it says regular. You click that. Oh, this font does not have a writing style. So we need to choose a font with a writing style. So we're going to click filter and click on writing. And let's say this one. Oh, this font only has a writing style, so it doesn't have the other options. Oh, it does. You can go to regular. Oh, yeah, it does. Okay. Or you can go to writing. You can go to bold. It will make it a little fatter, italic, writing. You can't do writing and italic. So then it will write with a pen in a single line like that. You can move the letters together this way. Use letter spacing. It doesn't make them all perfect. The reason is, let me show you because so many people are confused. I put them all together, but there's still so much room between the H and the A, but the P and the Y are really close. They are all evenly spaced. They're completely evenly spaced, but it doesn't look like it. But I promise you they are. But you don't want to make it this way. You want it to look evenly spaced. So to do that, you can click Advanced and Ungroup to Letters, or you can just click Ungroup. The reason these don't look close and these are is because the end of the H is right here. Let me show you by putting a line there. I'm just going to use the score line and I'm going to change it to draw just so you can see a straight line. So I'm going to put this at the edge of the H. Look, they're overlapping. The letters are overlapping and the edge of the Y Right here is the edge of the Y. So this is why the things look different when you do that. But we want them to be like this, right? I could select all three of those letters and move them at the same time. Oops, select these two and move them. So they look better this way. Okay. Yes, you can always go back and watch. Okay. Um, all right. Oh, wait a minute. Did I say something? If you're trying to put text in a circle, you want to use the curve text. Uh, but you cannot do that on a... Um, on an iPad or mobile app. Okay. Uh, somebody asked about my cards being on. I'm going to go to supporter projects. On the joy not fitting. So I have a whole section of insert cards. My insert cards I make for all machines. Let's do this one. So I'm going to open this one up. Click open. Now, the reason, oh wait, let's put it on the joy. There are caution letters here is because the joy will only fit certain sizes. Let me make this bigger. 
Um, so if you have the joy machine, you only want to cut this one, not this one. But I wanted everybody to enjoy my cards, not just the people with the joy machine. So I made the full card here. What you have to do is you have to choose whether you want to cut this one or this one. As I have the joy machine selected, these don't work. So I can either hide these and then just cut this, or if I have the joy and I'm never going to get a bigger machine, I can delete it and I can make it then. And you want to make it on a card mat. And then there you go. So if you only have a joy and you're doing the insert cards, you just, the only thing you have to do is hide that other one. Where'd it go? Did I delete that? I don't even remember. Yeah, I did. There it is. Uh, if you have the bigger machines, then you can hide this one and then just cut that. Hope that makes sense. Um, do we have any other questions? Is there a way to unhide all the images in the layers panel? When I hide things, I like to group them together. There is not one way to do them all. Now you can look at the layers and how this is over to the left more, and then these are grouped underneath it. So if I turn this on, it's gonna turn all those on. But if I just turn one part on, It's going to do that. There's another one. So that's why I like to group things together so I can hide and unhide them quickly. Uh, design space, you cannot shadow the text unless it has text with it. Okay, let's move this down. Let's zoom out of here. Okay, we're going to start new. If we want to put a shadow behind it, first I'm gonna change the color. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> and we're gonna select, I'm gonna sneeze again. No, I'm not. Okay, so now we wanna to filter to fonts with multiple layers. So I'm gonna find one that has um something behind it oh this doesn't this isn't a shadow one it's behind that line um base camp this has multiple shat layers so it has this bottom one that will show through these holes Or it has the shadow one, which may be hard to read. So I'm going to click over here to change the color. Um, let's change the color of this one. So the best way to do shadow for right now until Design Space has it is to pick one with a shadow on it. And you can make the letters closer together. Uh, with, when you have these, you can go to advanced and you can ungroup the letters. So you un, oh, ungroup the layers. You can ungroup the layers like this. I'm going to undo that. Uh, let's duplicate this so I can show you the difference. Okay, ungroup letters. So you can move the letter and it has the shape around it. Or this one, you can ungroup layers and then it has the whole layer. Now, sometimes you want to do this. Oh, you know what? Let me, let me bring that back. I want to show you something. Okay, now it's back. 
Let's move these closer together. So the backs of them are touching a little. Now I'm going to ungroup layers and I'm going to weld these. I'm not going to weld these because none of them are touching. And now I'm going to put that there, but I got to arrange that to the front. And then you'll have that welded, but then these will set on top of that. How do you make the layers that go behind your happy birthday pop-out card? Oh, I did it like this where I welded them, but then I needed extra pieces on there. So I like, okay, let's say we wanna do this. Let me move down. Um, let's duplicate that. Let's say we wanna put a few stars here. Let's make this one a little smaller. You know what, I would duplicate these too in case you want those in a different color. Uh, and we're gonna weld these. Well, uh, let's say we want this one in red. Want this one in uh, gold. Oh, let's just move this to the back. I right clicked, there's lots of, And the happy birthday, we can make that range to the front. And now we have that. And this is all one piece. Now you do not have to put these pieces on it. You can just, you can do it any way you want. It's your project, you make it. Whatever you wanna make it is how you do it. Oh, we need to do our giveaway. So in order to be in the giveaway, you have to be chatting. You have to be chatting within the last 15 minutes. Uh, go ahead and chat and tell me something you learned. What are you clicking on to make the letters closer? I was clicking on letter spacing up here. So I'm gonna go through and try to answer a few questions if I can while you guys are chatting to be entered into the giveaway for $15. Oh, somebody asked, why didn't you weld both? And what I'm guessing that you were asking about Whoops, I just got rid of that one. It doesn't matter. Why didn't I just weld both of these, like here? Like, weld both of the layers? Because watch what happens. When I weld, well, wait a minute. These are, let's go ahead and move these closer together. You know how I welded just the blue layer and not the yellow layer? This is why I did not. And this is what the best way to learn is, is to practice and do. So you have that question, why didn't you weld them both? Thanks for asking. But if you try it yourself, you'll know the answer. Look, let's just weld them both. It just blends it in. So we're gonna undo that. Anytime, let's ungroup this. You weld two pieces, it blends it in. It will only cut the entire outside. Let's move this over a little bit like that. Weld it. It's not anything like what I want it to be. Do you see how that does that? Like, let's say we want to, we want these stars together. If we weld them, it only makes it one piece. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, Deb P is asking how to make the layers of a vinyl decal. All of this can be a vinyl decal. It doesn't matter what, what I'm showing you how to do in Design Space does not matter what material you use for the most part. Oh, you think she means weld both layers, but separately. There's no reason to weld the yellow one because they're not touching. I could attach them. You could weld them too, but there's really no reason to weld them to make them one image because they're not touching. If you learned something today, please click the like button on my video. Whoops. Uh, the like button is right here. This is a different video, but you can click that like button. Okay. Have you guys all chatted something to enter the giveaway? You cannot mark certain images or layers or fonts as favorites. You can font. No, you can't. Um, one way to, you, you know what? Let me show you. Where am I? I gotta click here. If you wanna mark things as your favorites, let me show you how. It's a cheat. Help. <laughs> the words I have in my head. Okay. If you want to mark this one as a favorite, download it. It will download it. Um, and then it downloads it to your computer so you can use it offline. And then you can filter to your saved for offline. That will show you all the ones I have downloaded. See, I just downloaded one of those. I don't remember which one. Um, so then maybe these are my favorites because I have them downloaded to my computer. So that is a way you can mark it as your favorite. You can also do that with images. Let's just browse all images. Uh, let's say I want this as a favorite. I can select, wait, I can select it and I want this as a favorite. I wanna select that one. I see I have these selected. Oh, how about this one, and this one, and this one, and this one? I love those images. So instead of selecting inserting, all I have to do is go over here to this download button. So I'm going to click download. Do, 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 do. Did we blow your mind, Gail? Okay, now they're downloaded because now it has a little bitty computer. It's a square with a line underneath it with a check mark. It says saved for offline. Now, how do you go back to the one saved for offline? Can you do that? I'm sure you can. I forget how. Ownership. Downloaded. Okay, so now I can click all my downloaded ones. So these are all downloaded. And then I will, I know these are my favorites. I didn't really do all these for my favorites, but uh, so I know these are all my favorites images. So if I have some um, images I want, I can do that. You do not have to own the images or fonts. You do have to own them to cut them, but to save them as favorites, to design with them in design space, you don't have to own them. You only have to own them when you go to make it. You guys are learning so much. I was really afraid that you guys weren't gonna learn anything today between the canvas and the mat because I know I've taught all that so many times and so many of you come here every week. 
But as the class goes on and you guys ask great questions, we learn. Okay. Um, Mr. Nightbot. Is Night Nightbot's here, right? Are we ready for a winner? We have a winner! And Nightbot just told us in the chat on YouTube, Shirley Connell has won. So Shirley, oh wait, you guys can't see. Hold on, I'm going to show you the winner. Shirley! Shirley, you need to message me. Go to MelanieLaneInspired.com. Click contact. You win $15 through PayPal or uh, Amazon. I need the email for that so I can give you your either gift card or cash. Okay, now I'm going to have to go because we got to set. I have to go back to the Zoom. The sun is so bright on my head. Yes, surely contact me on MelodyLaneInspired.com. <laughs> Joan, you're so funny. I'm so glad you guys learned so much today. Okay, now I have to go because I have to go get ready for my patreon supporters and my youtube supporters to come go in video and chat we got lots to talk about okay deborah says zoom doesn't work for her i've never heard of zoom not working for somebody Maybe you can contact Zoom support. All right. Bye, guys. I'm just sitting here reading your chat. Uh, to get in the Zoom chat, you have to be a $5 supporter on Patreon.com slash Melody Lane. And you should, there was a post this morning with the link to the Zoom on Patreon. Carol says Elon was inspired today. He is smiling, isn't he? Welcome, Ayana. Okay. We will see you in a few minutes. Somebody says, I love the green monster behind you. That's the cricket doll. No, it's Zoom with a Z, Z-O-O-M. It's actually Z-O-O-M dot U-S is the Zoom website. All right, bye guys again. <laughs>